Hey guys, what's up? Mike McDonald here, just coming out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. And do you ever struggle with your new team members stepping up, you know, taking action right away and, you know, getting them to climb through the ranks or, you know, improve their business you know, drastically in the beginning? Well, if you struggle with that, or maybe you yourself are not getting the results that you want, uh, today's video, I just want to talk about some ways you can, you know, overcome that. And basically, you got to look at your self image and how you see yourself. So an example would be, you know, there's some people that if you've ever seen where they're, you know, pretty broke, they're not doing very well financially, and then they win the lottery. And then, you know, within a couple of years, most of the time, they're back to struggling, you know, they've lost all their money, they blew it all, they lost it somehow, they sabotage themselves, and now they're back to where they were. But then there's other people where, you know, they're successful, they're multimillionaires, they have huge businesses, you know, and then something happens where they go completely bankrupt. And then you see those people, two, three, four, five, you know, handful of years down the road, they're back to being, you know, a multimillionaire, being very successful. Well, basically why that's happening is those people have a different set point for their self image, what they see their self worth at, you know? So if you're not getting the results that you want, you need to start looking at your self image and how you see yourself. So if you only see yourself as, you know, that you only are worthy or you only deserve to be making, you know, two grand a month, you're gonna stay there. Or if you, you know, see yourself at this higher level and that's where you should be, um, you're gonna continue to work hard and be motivated till you reach that point. So if you see other people that, you know, and in your team that necessarily aren't, you know, putting in the effort, they're not putting in the work, it's because they've hit that comfort level of where they see their self image and where they should be at in life. So again, what you can do as the leader, or again, you yourself, if you're struggling with this, is to work on your self image. You know, how do you do that? Personal development. So, you know, I'm sure your company has different training events you can go to. Um, you know, you're gonna see testimonials, you're gonna see people that were just like you that go out and get success. That increase is your belief level of how you can go on and become successful. So that's gonna raise your self image because you're gonna believe that, okay, well, if they can do it, I can do it. So that's one way you can do that as well. Um, again, reading different books, personal development books, audio trainings, things on self-image, self-confidence, so you can get that belief in yourself that you should deserve to be, you know, up at this point in your business versus, you know, at this status. So again, that's what you can work on, but then also as being the leader, you want to be giving new people in your team you know, that personal development, maybe it's audio CDs that they can start listening to right away. Um, if you can adopt the, the idea or the concept that the leader is the feeder, is that they're, you know, constantly feeding their team personal development, personal growth, you know, leadership books, different things that every time you see them, you're giving them something that they can improve themselves and improve their self image. Because, you know, obviously as your team grows, you're not gonna be there every single day to give them pep talks or you know to motivate them or to praise them that they're doing a good job you know to boost their confidence and boost their self-image you can't be there all the time and you have to prioritize who you want to work with and you know where it's valuable to do that so again I, I talked about it before where you can give them a test you can give them that personal development that book that audio CD and then see who the ones are that actually you know do that they read that book they listen to that CD those are the people that you want to spend time working with because they're going to be steadily improving, you know, their self-image. So they're going to see that they should, you know, increase their work ethic or, you know, do whatever it takes to get to that new level of where their self-image is at versus where it has been. So that's, that's another reason too, if you ever see people where they shoot right up to the top, you know, right away in your business, but then there's other people where they, you know, struggle for a long time and then boom, they mag, you know, they hit that growth curve and then they they skyrocket to where they you know their personal development where they finally caught up with their income to where their personal development was at so again hopefully you guys got value out of this video now if you did feel free to comment and share this video and if you are in network marketing and you're struggling uh, head on over to coachmikemcdonald.com and just enter your name and email you're going to get access to my totally free audio 14 proven keys to inviting for your business. So again, never say the wrong thing to a potential prospect. Have more people see your opportunity in your business and you know take your business to the next level by entering your name and email over at coachmikemcdonald.com. But 
Appreciate your guys' time. We'll look forward to talking to you again soon.